This evening, the Arab television station Al Jazeera was sent a verbal suicide message from him, a tape. We do not know whether it was made days or even months before the attacks, but the message is chilling. Your death democratically elected governments continuously perpetuate atrocities against my people all over the world, and your support of them makes you directly responsible just as I am directly responsible for protecting and avenging my Muslim brothers and sisters. Until we feel security, you will be our targets, and until you stop the bombing, gassing, imprisonment and torture of my people, we will not stop this fight. We are at war and I am a soldier. The tape has clearly been edited, but did he record it in the UK or during a visit he made to Pakistan? Did he know an interview with Al-Qaeda's second-in-command, Ayman al-Zuhiri, would be edited onto the same tape in which he implies Al-Qaeda was behind the attack? Al-Zuhiri says the bombings were a direct response to Britain's foreign policies, a slap on the face of Tony Blair. He warns the battle has now been transferred to the land of the enemy. Edited, But did he record it in the UK or during a visit he made to Pakistan? Did he know an interview with Al-Qaeda's second-in-command, Ayman al-Zuhiri, would be edited onto the same tax, but the message is chilling. Your death democratically elected governments continuously perpetuate atrocities against my people all over the world, and your support of them makes you die. This evening, the Arab television station Al Jazeera was sent a verbal suicide message from him, a tape. We do not know whether it was made days or even months before the attack. you stop the bombing, gassing, imprisonment and torture of my people, we will not stop this fight. We are at war and I am a soldier. The tape has clearly been... ...directly responsible, just as I am directly responsible for protecting and avenging my Muslim brothers and sisters. Until we feel security, you will be our targets, and until